so this is this is my purse, really. I uh, wear this, I bring this all the time with me. Um, and I have a little sort of, you know, I have sanitizer, I have masks in here, I have um, toiletries, but many kind of stuff, right? I have this little first aid kit. Um, I love this box because it's, pretty sturdy and you can just refill it and it costs 99 cents and I have supplies in here my sister just gave me socks for Christmas and I put them in here for my preparedness kit I have gloves um, I have undies and that's sort of like my I have some other um, I have like two pairs of everything over there um, for the purposes of this video I actually added some things that I didn't necessarily keep in here, but I added three t-shirts. And these are not really things, so everything in here gets used pretty regularly. Um, you'd be surprised how many times I'm hanging out with people at a playground and a kid falls and I'm the only one with band-aids. I have other things like lip balm and hand lotion things you cannot live without. So um, a utility knife like this, um, you gotta remember you have it when you're using your pack to travel, so you gotta take that out. But uh, this is handy dandy, and we use it all the time too, to open things, to uh, uh, office parties, you need to slice bread. It's kind of a, kind of a neat uh, bread slicing tool. And then I have this thing, which actually um, I borrowed from my husband. This is, um, we use this all the time. This is a battery pack. And then I have water here with me. And then of course I would take my work backpack. I mean, uh, sorry, my work laptop would go in here. Don't forget your power cord. I have an extra power cord for this just for if I need to take it with me. Um, I have my, my cell where I keep, this is really my wallet. So I have uh, my ID, I have my Costco card here because I go to Costco a lot um, and, um, and just buy stuff like toilet paper there a lot. <laughs> so um, I have my, a couple bank cards and my ID and my Costco card. Well, the first thing I have here is apps, right? So I have all of my, there's my insurance, my banks are here, et cetera. So I have all this information and access to, um, there's my weather um, app, my uh, portal to healthcare, um, doctor, et cetera, et cetera. But so this is one way that I store information. So if I need to reach my insurance company, I just, you know, do it via the app. Although I have a backup for all this stuff too. So then here's where I put my, um, my go kit. I created an album and I put a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, and let me start from this end. So I have me and my husband's ID and then I photographed a whole bunch of stuff from home. So these are, this is a little airport. We would take this with us. I would grab this guy because it's got everything stored in there. My vaccination card, that's kind of important now. Um, this is a picture of my husband's meds list that he keeps in his wallet. So he has a paper copy and I have a photo copy. So I could show this, for example, if I was evacuated and we end up separated from all of our um, medications, under Oregon law, when you're in a shelter, um, a pharmacist can come uh, to that shelter and provide an emergency supply of your medications, right? There's uh, statutes in Oregon that allow pharmacists to do that. I also have things like what TV I have. I don't have a picture of the TV, but I took a picture of the back. Um, it's, and then I have pictures of things that um, uh, like my art, you know, things that are important to me, what I call the heirlooms category. <clears throat> I put a picture of my dog. He's, he's passed away since, uh, but pets are super important. He was very important to me. So if we were separated, I wanted to have a really good picture of him 
in my go kit that I could go, this is the puppy that's missing, right? This is, this is my garage. This is part of my go strategy. Um, this is not really my garage. This is my husband's garage. He's the organizer. So I, so I have everything in bins that are labeled like that. And then the idea is you grab the bin, you should look at, you know, whether what you actually say is on it, in it is currently there. Um, but that's very easy to just grab these bins and go. But these are things that we use all the time, right? The basic go bag that everybody talks about is just having something. And again, I threw this together rather than keeping it because one of the things that we've noticed with COVID, everybody gained the COVID-19 pounds, including me. So if I had a go kit bag from 2019, none of the stuff would fit me so i just uh put this in here my toiletries toothbrush uh, you know anything i would this is like my little travel kit so it's kind of ready to go anyway and just added my my tooth uh paste and toothbrush and things like that i grabbed some books that were on my um my night uh table because i want to have a sense of continuity if I'm sleeping in someone else's uh, house or in a shelter or something like that you know things that are going to give you a little bit of comfort uh, then the clothes are here I have you know pants and t-shirts and stuff like that um, but the other thing I put in here is this which is my little family, the, my grandmother's pearls, right? And my mother's uh, charm bracelet. So I was, uh, this was like first and foremost in my, my mind, like, ah, I wanna take that, that goes with me if I go away, right? Um, so that's the go bag. And then I have another one, which I bought just, um, one of these, the Red Cross has these for sale. You can buy these already uh, pre-made. And this is kind of a, a little bit of a repeat, but I use this a lot in the winter. I keep it in the car in the winter and not necessarily for summer, but this has, um, you know, like all of your standard supplies. Here's water bags. There's heavy duty gloves. There's just a ton of stuff in here. There's even like entertainment stuff. Um, for if you have kids, I have a radio in here. So this is just the, the standard when people say your go kit, emergency kit, this is, this is it. It has, a, it has another, um, these are glow sticks, I, uh, feminine hygiene stuff, which I also keep in my other backpack upstairs. I have a supply of that. So I'm not, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. This is a, oh, here's a, a much bigger first aid kit. Um, flashlights, batteries. I even have oh, meals in here. Ooh, I'm looking forward to eating that. Jeez. But um, I actually did open this at some point and try them. They're not too bad. They're like really sort of dry granola type stuff. So, um, I keep a pantry, just regular stuff. So this isn't the MRE, the, the ready to eat rations and all that sort of awful stuff. I have that, but I thought if I'm, um, if I'm gonna be in this uh, very uncomfortable situation i want to have some comfort stuff right so um or things i like things i like to eat so we eat tuna all the time i just grabbed it again i buy it in costco in these you know 10 packs the most important thing is information information about yourself information about your stuff information um that you're going to need to have access to resources so I think things like the cell phone go kit or a paper version of that, I think that's the most critical because uh, all of this other stuff is just stuff, right? Even my you know, precious guitar that's irreplaceable, etc. No, well, you know, eventually we could have a guitar. But if I can't, for example, 
um, access the, the medications list and I don't remember all the doses and all that, um, I got to have that written down in a way that I can share it with somebody that's going to help me. For everything else I think can, can be replaced, right? So what's going to make it so that you can survive and even thrive a little? So sometimes it may not be all of this, you know, emergency kit stuff with the, the, the glow lights and all that. Preparedness is, for me, is something you can start doing little by little you don't just do this. I've been doing this for years, right? So whatever little steps you take that improve your um, resilience, um, that's, you, you can just be adding to that little by little.